Hi, I'm Renee and I'm starting the hardest challenge on a Minecraft MMORPG called Wincraft. The challenge is called HICH, which stands for Hardcore, Iron Man, Craftsman and Hunted. Which means that I have only one life, I can't trade with anyone, so every item I use I will have to grind for myself. I can only use crafted items except for the starter weapon and I will have to beware other players as well as any player in hunted mode within 10 levels of me can just come out of nowhere and try to kill me effectively ending this series if they succeed. I am doing this series with Chaos Dragon, a fellow Wincraft YouTuber, definitely check his first episode, link in the description, however at the end of recording the first episode I got mercilessly murdered no! by a hunter called Triflame who not oh no. only killed me but also recorded it and was kind of Enough to give me the recording. On the second attempt I got disconnected when my Wi-Fi wasn't working and when I reconnected I was just dead. So I decided to give myself a third chance to redo the first episode and continue the series with Chaos Dragon from the second episode onward. We will also not be playing on the media server so anyone can come up to us and have their try at defeating us. We expect this to get bloody. This series will be the test of skill and survivorship where we will push ourselves to the limits to get as far as possible. Our ultimate goal is to complete every quest and discovery in game. Will we succeed or will we get killed by a player or by the game itself? Watch to find out and subscribe to both of our channels. Nice is level 3. And I will complete Enzan's brother. Right, and I can't put my pants on because I'm in craftsman mode. Now I will grab some tools and start the profession grind. Nice. Now in this episode all I want to do is catch up with Chaos Dragon. Who you know I'm supposed to do this series with, but I died two times. Ooh, that's smart, getting a Ragni mercenary here to kill everything. Now with Chaos Dragon we have completed the first four quests, so that's what I will be doing in this episode as well. And after getting right there, after cutting this tree, and mining this gem, and killing this zombie, and looting this chest, I get it distracted a lot. Even on a such a simple task, it's just follow the direction and go here. I will start the poisoning the pest quest. I'll kill this corrupt farmer by this violent explosion of just goo. Well, he will be just destroying the farm, but whatever. Nice, and I leveled up. Nice, another level up. Ooh, lucky spider egg. Nice. And nice again. Alright, now I have all gathering professions up to level 10. This will go quite quick since I'm redoing the first episode, so I already know what I'm doing. Now from these guys I shall get some ingredients that will help me level up. In crafting that is, these strong fleshes will be very good. And since I'm not strong enough to take on corrupted green, I will just class outside and wait for these two to spawn because they have a guaranteed drop rate of that ingredient. Nice! Combat level level up! Alright, few more times. Well, I might kill a few of these inside. I'm gonna risk them killing us. Which is not a smart play, but whoever said I was smart. Alright, now this should be it. Oh, hopefully these won't kill me. And actually I might take the chest. I'm greedy and it's worth it! I got an emerald pouch! Nice! I mean, it could have gotten me killed, but it didn't. Ooh, and there's someone here. Hopefully they're not in Hunted. And I'm in safe zone, so it wouldn't matter anyways. But what I can do is identify all of these things. Though I'm not even going to look at them because, well, because uh, they're useless and I will just scrap them. Because scrap is actually useful. <laughs> it's like really useful. You need a lot of it. And since now I'm also using the Wincraft Inventory Management mod, I can look for ingredients that I can use for crafting. Pretty much all I need is ingredients between level 1 and level 3. There's not a lot of them. I will buy some eggs for cooking. This is so weird, this strong zombie is just throwing zombies at me. Well, who's throwing zombies at who now? I will do this secret discovery though, because we did do it with Chaos Dragon. And it leveled me up, nice. I will now grind some scribing ingredients. This coastal sand, 
the only level 1 scribing ingredient. Also, I keep forgetting about my skill points, so I will just, yeah, put some of the, these here for defense and agility, because defense and agility is all this is about since I have to survive. Alright, got 6 sands. And give even more points to agility. Ooh, powder. Ooh, rare potato. I'll get some milk. I'll get some more strong flesh. I will start and complete the cook's assistant quest because I already have all the items that are needed. And I will try to get to a server with prof bombs because that will make the crafting way easier. But I'm not sure I will get in. And I'm in and nice. This was surprisingly easy. Okay, use eggs to make food. Wow, I'm level 9 already. Yeah, double XP really does make the difference. And I can make three because why not? Nice. And I can scrap the food. Although I'm not really sure how that works. Like logistically. Oh, hello there, PvP person. Hello. Lucky we didn't meet there. That would have been bad. Though right now it's a mutual assured destruction since we neither have any armor. I will scrap some more stuff though. And I will make some armor so that it won't be a mutual assured destruction. Oh, and they're making also an armor. Fair enough. Put some strong flesh on it. And level 5, level 16. Oh, come on, those are rookie numbers. <laughs> I do need to make a chest plate as well, though. And I can put it on. And same goes for tailoring. Nice. And now I'm full leather with 46 durability pants, whatever. Wait, I will offer peace to that uh, hunted player so that we will not kill each other. I offer peace. KK. Okay. They're still not in my party though. Ooh, level 8. That will be very hard to beat. Yeah, I'm, I'm better. I got more, more levels. And just as I arrived, the bomb stopped. Die. I do a lot of damage. Look, 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 look. That's 69. Nice. And bash. That was probably a lot of damage. Ooh, loot bomb. Ah, uh, champion is OP. Anyways, now is a perfect opportunity to grind some ingredients. Nice, level up. Hello there, fellow non-PVP player. Actually, not a fellow one, but a non-PVP player. And 48's forest whips is exactly what I need. I will also do this quest, which we did with Chaos Dragon. Ooh, I have finished the weekly objective. Wait, that means a lot of rewards. Okay, let's make some space in our inventory. And let's see what we- Oh my god! I mean, I can't use any of this, but oh my god! Wow! Wow! Wow, 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 I will take all these powders. The powders are probably the, the best thing that I can get. I just throw it all on the ground and then I will deal with it then. And I can't use any of this stuff, but I can scrap it. Which, you know, uh, it's not good, but... Eh. <laughs> yeah. I have to... Why did I do this here? Why didn't I wait a bit? This would have been so good if I was not in Craftsman and high level. And I have quite a lot of emerald blocks now. Ooh, and unused skill points. I will indeed use them. And I have finished the quest and I can't pick up the set room. I have no idea why. Probably because it was dropped and uh, I didn't pick it up since I am Iron Man. <laughs> Sad. Go to Ragni. Oh, right, and IDing these items will cost more than I have. Well, at least I'll get <laughs> 11 scrap for it. Well, I'll sell the rest for 10 to 33 emeralds. Fair enough, why not? And what I wanted to say is that I'll make some jewelry, but that doesn't seem possible. Okay, I switched servers and now it works. Okay, now even without double XP level, it does 9 levels. And now I have a full accessory walk speed set. I can equip it and I'm fast now. Now I just have to grind some mushroom and walk back to Ragni. Ooh, a beehive. Let's see what we will get. Nothing that good. Am I going to be the asshole? <laughs> nah, I'm a peaceful person. Although, nah, 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 I offered peace and I will stand by it. Now I will make some random potions without the double XP as well. 
Oh, and I ate it. And some more. Because, you know, I can and I have 48 spider fangs. This will be more than enough. Now we just need to level up scrabbing and we will finally catch up to Chaos Dragon. I will not be doing woodworking. Wait, do we have enough scrabbing ingredients? Probably not. Well, whatever. Let's see. We might level up. We might not. We probably. I mean, we will level up. Two of six nights, but I mean from the other scrolls. Ooh, 15% loot bonus. I will keep that. Wait, can I craft level 7 to 9 potions? Fair enough. Okay. Oh, and they're combat level 5, so I guess I can't. And now, yes, level 10. And except for the loot bonus, I will scrap these scrolls. Again, I'm not sure how that actually works. Now I will organize my inventory. Why can't I stack these two nivel and honeycombs? For you this was a while, for me this was a pain, because I dislike organizing stuff. Wait, I can actually sell some of that stuff. Eh, too lazy for that. Alright, this is where I will end the first episode. And now, since we finally caught up to Chaos Dragon, we can finally play with him! But that in the next episode. Goodbye! Uh -huh.